medical records. Um, keep a copy of your own. I find it so important in my personal experience to keep your copies. Have a copy, ask for copies, get the information. Um, I just spoke to a lady yesterday, she's amazing. Um, she's dealing with her health issues. And I, I said, well, do you know your numbers? Do you know anything that you're going through? And she's like, no, I don't know any of that. And I'm like, wait, so what is it that they've actually tested? Oh, I don't know. I don't know any of that. And I'm like, okay, so who are you seeing? What's going on? You know, here she is getting treatment. Um, it's her own personal thing, but, uh, She's got some treatment. She has to go in. She actually has a port cap also, um, but it's being used for um, a transfusion. So with her, she doesn't know the history. She doesn't know why this is happening. She doesn't have her number. She doesn't have, you know, like, um, what would it be? Just, you know, her game plan or um, things that could be worked on or even a suggestion. And um, for me, I know in my life, I have gone to the doctor enough. In the beginning, I went, I had no idea. And this is one reason I do these videos because I did not know. And I still don't know everything. But in my experience, man, was I just in some murky water. And so when I went to the doctor and they prescribed stuff I absolutely didn't need, um, I didn't look at my records. I did not follow up and do my half or 90% or 80%, whatever percent I needed to do, I didn't do because I didn't know. Um, I think the assumption as human beings is we're going to the doctor, the doctor knows everything, we are their number one patient, they will care about our history, they will care about our things, they're going to read all about it, and they will have an answer. They are the solution. My opinion and I guess kind of just putting it out there, a doctor wakes up in the morning, washes face, brushes teeth, gets ready, goes to work, sees, I don't know how many patients, say like, say 25 patients a day, right? We'll just say 25. That's a lot of people in the day. They may or may not get a snack in between patients. They may or may not get to use the bathroom and they may or may not get a proper lunch. I know my doctor sometimes does it and it breaks my heart because she's really nice. Um, I don't think they get proper lunches, okay? Work, 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 in, out, in, out, different cases, different dynamics, a universe of things, right? Even though I see a hematologist, oncologist, oh, just one second. Sorry, I got a grocery delivery and I'll talk all about that and the benefits and the wonderful things that are there for you when you get that um, in another video another time. Very helpful. Um, I'm going to continue with the doctors. The doctors have their own lives. I can't guarantee they even get a break for lunch or breaks or anything. So after they see you and 25 other people in one day of their week, um, they go home and they have a family and they have you know, food to eat, laundry to do, a bathroom to clean. They're normal. Um, their kid may have homework or say they have their own health issues. You don't know. They're human. They are human. And they have things that they have to do. Groceries, whatever. Things that you have to do every day, um, they have to also. So that is a big thing. I mean, there's certain a lot of time, certain things they do. And say they have some reading time that night, it doesn't mean that you will be their priority. Um, maybe, hopefully, they do some fun reading and do take care of themselves. Um, you want a well-rested, happy doctor also. But um, if you have a rare disease, I don't know that you would be their number one focus unless they are a specialist. Um, and you still won't be their number one you know, focus, but you'll be in their little pool of people, I guess. Um, but in reality, they will do what they can and they are human and they have a life and they are not married to their job, just as hopefully you are not either. There is a job life and there's a life and, you know, live, have fun and wish the same on them. They'll do what they can, but you cannot 
slowly put everything on to them. They don't know everything. They know as much as they went to school for and they retained, or they have knowledge or experience with, or have heard. They don't know everything. They don't have access to everything. I mean, maybe they have some access, but it doesn't mean that they've, you know, put that in their brain. So um, on that note, be forgiving. They're human and they may not have had lunch or a break, you know, bless them. Um, that goes back to what falls on you. Um, it sucks to be sick. It sucks to have no energy. It sucks to have brain fog galore. Um, all of those things. And yet this is you, this is your life and this is your new normal and a new aspect you need to look at. Um, paperwork. We all go into this whole thing blindly when we see a doctor first time. I know I completely did and it took me forever to figure this out. Um, but go over your paperwork. Get access. Get online access. Most hospital uh, related doctors will have something. It's a like a patient portal or something like that. I go on all the time. I write emails to them. Um, they have to answer them in like two days or something. It's convenient if at two in the morning is when you remember things, just write it. You know what I mean? Um, there you can see your test results. You can see a history. You can see graphs. You can see progression um, or, you know, kind of how you felt one month versus another and you can kind of get a grasp on it. Um, get access to your records. Compile everything you can. Go to past doctors. The other day I called a doctor, they put bubbles in my heart, I don't know, a few years ago, and I called them and it was easy to get my records. It was amazing. A quick tip on getting your records and collecting them, because I'm telling you, you got to do it. It's for your own good and it's your part of your health experience, unfortunately and fortunately. Uh, with that, I called. They said, well, it's going to be $25. I went there once. It's 25 bucks. Like, you know, it gets costly and I understand for them too, but you know, whatever. So they said, but if you have a fax, we can fax you this information for free. I don't have a fax. You know, I don't know many people who do, but I do have access to one and so can you. If you go online, there's an app. It's like Fox Fax or something like that. Um, one for sending, which I've used, and a separate app that you have for receiving. You have one hour to receive the fax. And it's five bucks. It's one hour to receive the fax. And they have to, you know, send it in that time. And they'll give you a number that works for that amount of time. You give it to the hospital. Boom. If they And make sure they know you have a time limit here. They sent it. It came. Perfect. I have it. Um, five dollars versus 25 plus almost immediate access, which is wonderful. Um, I didn't get a disc or anything of the ultrasound um, in that case. I don't know if I'm going to follow up on that, but I have all the other information. Um, so that was a quick thing. I will attach like a link to the app or just information if I can have it. Um, so that was one thing. I'm gathering old information. Put it together. Kind of help it so they can see that. If you can kind of hand someone... Um, the ingredients to a menu item, it's easier to make this uh, meal that's presentable than to say, okay, here is what I want on the menu. You figure it out. You know, you kind of put it out there so you can make this together and get, you know, results. So um, that was one thing I did. And it was a solution is to find that fax um, through an app, which is very cool. Um, another is I, um, I keep records. I keep, I have like fat, thick things. And every time I get an MRI, ultrasound, anything like that, I ask for a copy and they can give you a disc and they should. I don't know if they always do it. I know a couple times they didn't. And I retroactively asked, Hey, can I have that disc? Um, they should have it. You should have a copy. It is yours. It is your health. It is your, you know, part of the plan of responsibility. Get that every time. Ask for it. Ask for your result. Ask for access. You know, 
um, to sign up for a lot of these patient portals, you'll need like a customer ID or a client ID or whatever ID. Um, it's usually on your paperwork and you have to see them once and then you can get that. It is generated. Do it. Do it your first visit, whether or not you ever follow up with them or, you know, you think you do or don't need it then. Have that information. It is yours. Make sure you take control of what you can do. Be part of the solution. Um, it is unfortunately a problem that you now have. Um, gather paperwork, get your MRIs, get your CDs, get discs, um, have that temporary fax number, get all of that, combine it, um, make folders, make these things for the years. Well, doctors, I mean, when we were seeing doctors when I was pregnant, I had um, one of those accordion files. First thing was ultrasounds, pictures and discs. We were getting ultrasounds, I think like twice a week because it was a high risk pregnancy and all sorts of complications. That's not normal. So I don't think anyone has like a whole like stack folder of ultrasound pictures and discs, but we do. Um, after that, I would have, you know, results or, you know, even they give you the receipts. I would save some of those. Currently I'm using a lot of those receipts for my son to color on. <laughs> so we don't waste paper. Um, but you know save what you can with those receipts that's how i remembered i even had that heart thing and i was able to get their information call them and you know take those steps so i was lucky um that is a big thing um to have that access go over your results uh, i'm not saying google has all the answers but i'm not saying your doctor or anyone else does either and i hate to say it like that in my experience and i'll tell you why um, when I went in with a blaring, blaring, obvious, um, blood, res um, what is it? blood, I can't think of it. Anyway, like a blood test thing. Okay. What happened is it was right there. It was very obvious that there was something wrong with my blood. And instead of, you know, saying, Hey, let's look into this. Look, let's talk to a hematologist, hematologist or someone, um, my neurologist, as sweet as he was, he said, oh, you know, I don't know what this is, but I think you might be dehydrated. I'm like, well, I guess I haven't had a lot to drink today. Mind you, I drink a lot, so when I do I have a lot to drink, I probably had plenty already. Um, and so he wrote on the note, must be dehydrated. That has been like the worst thing to look at for years. Like, you could have had some sort of answer or something to help me at that point. But instead, I had to go on all sorts of medications, all sorts of testing, all sorts of insanity, feeling so utterly confused, lost, and everything in between. And not saying, you know, having this, but having a name really helps out. So um, go over your tests, take responsibility for your part in your solution. Um, the answers may or may not be there, but your helping out will make a difference for yourself. It'll make you feel like you're more empowered also. Um, doctors are human, human. Some are fantastic, some are awful. I went to one who was just an absolute, um, shockingly naive person. He was maybe kind or maybe something else, but when he, um, found out I had polycythemia vera because I went, you know, referred after I had it. Um, the first thing he said is like, wow, you should be so strong. Your blood is amazing. And wow, you know, you're, you're doing great and you should be able to like outrun us all. And you're an athlete and all these things. And I'm looking at him as I'm like, I am so sick right now. I feel like I'm going to fall over. My head is exploding. I'm weak. I'm tired. I'm dizzy. And this guy is telling me I'm an athlete. Believe me, I was not impressed. And I was like, where in the world is he getting this craziness from? Total side note. I saw on some documentary or something. It's kind of like when, when bicyclists dope their blood, they try and get more red blood cells or something. I don't think they're even really related whatsoever, but I don't know. I don't know all the mechanisms behind that. But this guy was associating something that was making me feel absolutely awful to the cyclist doping thing. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, I immediately went home, 
and got my current doctor and I love her. She's really nice. Um, so anyhow, that was a big deal and take responsibility, go in, even if, you know, my insurance was like, yeah, this guy's covered. He was convenient. He was a lot closer. All of that went there. He's not going to help. And I mean, I give leeway to a lot of things, but not, not to this like utter, um, obliviousness, I guess. Um, please take responsibility for yourself. It may be difficult. It's hard. I mean, get file folders, get your information, go online. You can have access. When I talked to my friend yesterday, she didn't have access to her own tests. That's huge. Have the access. Look at that. Um, I went beyond that and beyond the access to my tests. I am also looking at my own DNA. I don't have the answers, but I can kind of help out in any way, right? DNA. I am also talking to groups online that have other information. Um, there was a guy on one of our MPM forums, and I loved him. I don't even know him at all, but on a personal level, he would talk to me. Like, I was scared, and he, he wrote to me nicely, and um, he was a help, and it's it's sad because I don't like that he had all of these life experiences to have the knowledge and yet I'm very grateful that he had life experiences for this knowledge um, so he actually passed away which you know it's not fun but I mean you're kind of gonna get that on the forums when everyone's sick that was a shocker but also a realization like yeah these you know <laughs> some people are gonna pass away on these things and it sucks but nonetheless, um, he was a good uh, reference. And, you know, gather your information, gather information from others, do what you can, be your own advocate, look for help in any way you can, and also look at your doctor, know that you're human, and they are trying, they're not perfect. So, you know, it's a whole circle, whole circle. So um, I wish you the very best in your journeys. And, Please subscribe to my channel. I always forget to say this thing, but you're supposed to. So subscribe to the channel and like the video and yada, yada, yada. Be blessed. Have a good life.